Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be a fire sign read. Uh, Leo, Aries, Sag. Only take what resonates, leave the rest. Don't make it fit if it does, doesn't fit. Uh, you don't have to be a fire sign uh, for this read to resonate with you. If you found the read, it just may be uh, yours. Uh, know that tarot is for entertainment purposes and also to give you some clarity to your situation. And roles can be reversed. So if I say it's you, it could be your person. If you get offended by a little dirty talk or the nudie cards, uh, just find your way out of the read. Come back again another day. If you like a personal read, you can go to the description box below and head over to Venmo, Jesse Ray 21 or rootsandrewards.com to see all my merch and all the services that I provide. All right, so what's going on? Hope you guys had a nice weekend. I'm feeling... I feel like you guys, things are shifting, right? Things are getting a little bit um, lighter, brighter. You're feeling a little bit happier maybe right now, or this is what's to come, all right, if you're not there yet. But we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Uh, so today's read, I'm curious, let's see. This week, I think we're gonna do, how is your person feeling for you? And uh, we'll see if there will be an extended read. I'll let you know. If there is an extended read, it'll be uh, $9.99. And uh, you purchase that over on Venmo, Jesse Ray 21. But we'll see where it goes. All right, so how is your person feeling right now about you? So let's see. All right, so there might have been an ending between you and your person. The coffin's on the bottom of the deck. Uh, so maybe you had a breakup. Or this is saying that there's new beginnings. Reconciliation after a, a period of uh, time that you had separate. So you're transitioning uh, in a relationship here. Redoing the heartbreak. So someone's wanted to come in and restart. Restart with you after breaking you. All right, I just saw a 313 number that might, may, re may resonate with you. All right, so the sword and rose. So there's truth and clarity coming in. Uh, you might be relocating or reevaluating this connection with this person. Um, I feel like this, this connection between you and this person is protected, all right? Uh, you may even be like a power couple. You both are very um, strong in your own energies. All right, that's good. Yeah, separation. You guys are missing each other. This person's missing you, yearning for you. Um, this person's thinking about you. They are unclear or unsure about where the connection is going during this separation. So they're a little bit sad and wanting to be near you. have some kind of um where this person might have some tattoo of like a I don't know if it's a hawk or a phoenix like a bird's I don't know like a bird's face or something on the arm like a phoenix but it's just like the face of it, or like the beak, something. I'm seeing in that card for some reason. I don't know. It may resonate with one of you. Uh, all right, so, <coughs> sorry. This connection, um, you guys needed this time apart to heal. Your person needed time away from you to heal, to do shadow work, uh, to gain their self-worth and self-appreciation. So maybe this person really wasn't feeling good enough for you or um, they were too focused on themselves and not so much on you and the connection. All right, so they just, they needed time to, you know, think about what they were, were doing and what they wanted. They are feeling that they do like you, all right? So this person does like you. I feel like this person likes you more than likes you. <laughs> uh, they, 
this person seems like they're in love with you. All right, so there's a romance blooming here, uh, fun flirting. Uh, the person wants to come back in and date you. And uh, yeah, I feel like this person's gonna come in and let you know that they're all hard-eyed for you. So they do like you, they, they're coming back in. All right, so that tells a lot in four cards. Sorry, I screwed myself up at the gym today. Oh, yeah, coming in with new beginnings. More, um, this person comes in more clear minded, knowing what they want in the connection and restart it. Okay. Could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So how's this person feeling about the watcher? So there, that truth and clarity came in twice, two cards. So clear direction. Yeah, so they're making a clear, they've come to a clear decision that they don't want to walk away from you. They don't want to turn their back away. They don't want to spill out the cups for you. They don't want to explore other options. Maybe this person was non-committal, wasn't ready for you at the point in time when you first started. All right. This could be you to them also. But it looks like somebody doesn't truly want to walk away from this connection. They don't want to spill out the emotions that they, they showed to you. They want to rush in after being in this separation and express their emotions to you. All right, they're coming in pretty pretty quickly with that couple of. They're wanting to fight for the connection. So, distance made the heart grow fonder. All right. Uh, yeah, in the past they were self-absorbed indulging in whatever was making them happy. They didn't really focus on you much or maybe you didn't focus on them enough. You didn't put enough effort. They didn't put enough effort, but someone's wanting to come in and reverse this. They wanna put the effort in with you. They wanna work on the connection. They see that the connection is um, valuable for them. This person, when this person sees you, they like burst they burst inside with like this spark, okay? So this person has this spark. Um, you just light, you just light up their life. You make them happy. I think it's mutual though. I think you do the same thing for this person or they do the same thing for you. So what's coming in this person? Yeah, yep, yep, yep person might have held back from you in the past they were greeting with their time and attention definitely absorbed in self only worrying about how they were feeling not really worrying about too much of how you were feeling and holding back from giving you what you wanted but they're reversing this now because now they're showing they're going to show you that they like you they want to come in and you know spend time with you make time for you person feeling this person's aware that they weren't valuing you or they didn't feel valued by you one or the other somebody wasn't feeling valued in this connection somebody wasn't uh, they weren't making you a priority they were like being sneaky being a, a sly fox here on the bottom But even though this person maybe wasn't valuing you, you still you still have a hard time walking away from them. So you need to, you need to maybe internalize some things within yourself, seeing your worth a little bit more with with this person. Yeah, they charge in. They're coming in. 
the next, I would say, I, I usually don't give time frames because I don't want to get your hopes up, but it looks like it's going to be two days, two weeks, two months. This person was at a crossroads charging in you could be dealing with the water sign cancer pisces scorpio charging in with emotions and bringing in clear uh, clear intention saying they want to restart uh, the connection they they feel for you they got love for you and they no longer want to you know go off on, on a different path they, they've chosen they're choosing a path they're not going to flip-flop. They're choosing a path and they're staying stern in their uh, their thoughts, in their decision. So they're coming to a decision. Wow. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> All right. Might have been a long time coming. Yeah. They're manifesting you. They're opening their heart, trying to manifest you back and hoping hoping that you'll let them prove themselves, let them work on it, put the effort in, let me back in, let me show you, let me show you what I can do for you. Maybe this person was like controlling or manipulative or in their pride and ego in the past, and they really couldn't open up the way that you needed them to, or they needed you to. person's a little bit at a distance from you. This person could live in a different town or city than you. Could be a fellow fire sign. Leo Aries Sag. But they're holding passion for you. This person does think, uh, I feel like this person does fantasize about you quite often. This person could have had a past life as a renaissance person, or you. You could have been, um, yeah, lived in the renaissance time. That's pretty cool. It may relate to you. So what else is going on with this person? Oh, I just saw the couple love. They're tired of stalking you. They're stalking you. <laughs> They're stalking you, passionately stalking you. Sitting back, watching you, keeping up with you. This person still keeps an eye on you. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Oh. <laughs> I can't think straightly. All right, so this person may be, not be able to think clearly <laughs> about you at times with what they see on your, your media. I don't know. I don't know what you're posting on social media, but this is getting this person fired up. They, uh, they're saying, I gotta get in there. I gotta get in there and come with my hot wand or my hot cookie, my wet cookie for you. Um, they're liking what they're seeing, but they're tired of watching you from a distance, not being able to touch you and feel you and get at you um, sexually and passionately. They want to feel you. There's something that you're doing or something that you changed about yourself or you change, you know, it may be your energy shifted. Maybe you're taking on a lighter energy. You're not uh, really approaching this person as much or your, um, or you're putting out a better, a more welcoming vibe about you. Or maybe you just changed like your makeup or your hair what you wear something something's making this person look at you like wow what the fuck did i give up like shit you're a goddess or you're a god you know and i want to tap that ass <laughs> so you're really or maybe you're just like well wanted you're you're gorgeous so they see that you know a lot of people want you and they have an opportunity to have you and they're fucking it up you know stop fucking it up person is very driven 
very driven. They try, they're try. they trying to hold back emotionally from you though. They are, they don't want to come in too emotionally attached to you because they feel like you, you are going to get scared and you're going to run if they show that they like you too much or if they express themselves to you too much. Yeah. Someone doesn't like to see someone single. Someone's single here. Enjoying their singlehood. You could be working on your pentacles, working on your job, your craft. And they see that you're elevating in, in, what, <clears throat> in what you're putting your energy towards. You're transforming and you're looking damn good. You're showing independence. You're showing your freedom. You're free to do what you want and how you, how you want to do it. So that's appealing to this person. You showing that you are as independent and controlled as you are. <clears throat> else i see you keep seeing the wheel of fortune so the wheel of fortune is going to turn in this relationship from the dark to the light it wasn't really um moving the way that you wanted it to move at one point but somebody's coming in they wanted to communicate they wanted to share time they will approach you definitely they will approach you and and conversate next two to eight weeks I would say. Yeah, they were wearing a false mask. They were pretending that they didn't want to be with you. Or they didn't have feelings for you. Or some kind of deception was here where this person couldn't emotionally invest in you. So something was blocking them. Something was blocking them from, uh, from giving in to you emotionally not being able to give you what you needed at that point in time when you were involved with this person. So things are going to be flipped and reversed. <laughs> I keep hearing this song, flip it and reverse it. Missy Elliott, flip it. All right, maybe this person wants to be flipped over. I want to get hit from behind. All right, so the deception, if there was any deception in this connection, lying, cheating, stealing, third party situations someone wants to reverse their behavior they no longer want to come in like this with you and they are coming in to an to apologize and enlighten you about what uh what they're going to do now in this connection what changes that they're making they're wanting new newness they're wanting old cycles to change whatever went down in this connection they no longer want to look at it they just standing tall looking towards the future and how to uh, reinvest and um, readjust the connection with you okay so you're gonna come out of stagnant energy with this person all right it's looking good so what we're gonna do I'm gonna do an extended we're gonna go more into depth about how this person is going to come in uh, sexually. We're going to go to sexy times act, your sexual dynamic, your emotional dynamic between you and your person, what your person would like to say to you that they're unable to say to you, and a little bit of uh, motivational and self, uh, self-care because you know what? You have to keep yourself as number one priority. Even though this person is coming back to you, you need to continue to stay in this uh, Queen of Wands energy and this Magician energy and continue to uplift your motherfucking self and make a better life for yourself. And the right person will come in for you. Okay? So meet me over on the other side. Extended. If you're not going over there, that's okay too. I'll see you guys next week. Next up is uh, Earth Signs. I am going to do something different um, this week. Um, I don't know how I'm doing it yet. But I want to choose one Zodiac. One or two Zodiacs a week to do an extra read for. So... You guys are lumped into the Leo Aries Sag, right? And the other elements are, are with them. I want it. whoever gets the most views next week, I'm gonna pick one out of the three zodiacs for that for that sign. Alright, to do an extra extra read for you guys. 
if that makes sense. So I'm gonna be picking one zodiac or two zodiac, I'm gonna do two zodiac signs. Whoever gets the most views, I'll pick out two zodiac signs to do like a, uh, a general love read for them. So make sure that you're, you're liking, you're subscribing, hitting the notification bell. Make sure to follow me on other outlets. I have TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. All that's in the link in the bio below. Um, that way I could pull on your energy a little bit more and these reads can resonate with you a little bit more. All right, so if you'd like the extended, go over to Venmo, Jesse Ray 21 and I will send you the link through there. Make sure that you give me your personal information, your name, uh, where you're wanting me to send the link to, either email or message me on Instagram, Facebook, um, not Facebook, don't message me on Facebook. Uh, TikTok, it gets absolutely crazy with my notifications. I, I don't even get to read all of the messages and all the comments and everything. So the best place to um, message me is either on rootsandrewards.com, send me an email, or on Instagram Messenger. All right, so we're gonna go over to the extended sexy time and I will see you guys again. Have a great day, keep yourself in high regard.